Hello guys, my name is Tim Diamond Andrew and I'm a data analyst for your research. Okay, welcome to this session. I'll be showing you how to configure your Power Automate to send embedded image for both Outlook and Gmail, right? So the other day I completed a course by Ola Rewajo Iboke, a Power Automate course, which is very, very nice. I also recommend it for everyone. I'll put the link to the course on my bio below. So I noticed something, we cre he, cre he created a birthday reminder flow which sends baby to you on your birthday but the thing is that it was working perfectly well for if you're using outlook in your organization right but what about in a situation where you're using gmail so i actually built the same thing for my organization and i noticed that okay people in my organization some people prefer using gmail some people prefer using outlook so the people that are using the outlook they got the embedded images right but people that was using Gmail, they get an encrypted message. So I thought about it. I found, okay, what way can I go around it, right? So that was, I will show you what I'm talking about, right? So the first thing, right? This is just a normal flow, right? That sends you happy birthday. So in my organization, we use Gmail a lot. I know most organizations, most organizations uses Outlook. But what about if I'm sending an email to someone outside my organization? Definitely the person will be using Gmail, right? For most Android users and the rest. So that's it. This is just a normal flow, right? So let me just show my SharePoint list. So it's just a normal flow that, okay, it sends you happy birthday or your birthday date. So I've set the dates to today, right? So I'm expecting messages to deliver to Temi Dayo. This one of my mail. This another mail. Actually, just kept different different mails here, right? So he's going to enter. So this is a Gmail, this is a Gmail, and this is an Outlook, an Auth mail actually, right? So I'm going to do the flow now. It's going to send messages to these three mails, right? So I'll come to my Power Automate, right? So I'll just run the flow. So I've actually embedded the image. So I'll share. I'll share a link on. So this is just basically the flow itself, right? So it's more like a recurrent flow, a scheduled flow actually. It's going to get items get content, initialize variable, and you do the loop. So this just basically sends message, right? But this is not what I'm actually aiming for. What I'm aiming for is how to embed images for both Gmail and Outlook. Right now, I want to send the same message now to three account, right? So if I save this, if I save, just test the flow. Let's test this manual because I'm doing it for the first time. And I run this, okay? So it flow runs successfully. Let's wait. Okay, so I should be expecting messages to like three different accounts. So let me just open this here, right? Okay, so it does send to three different accounts, right? Okay, so this is the first one, Kido Jazz. This is the second one, Modern Email. And this is the third one. So this is the third one, my Hotmail, right? So I'll go to my three mails now. So if I go to my Hotmail, and you can see, this is the message, right? You can see the image embedded successfully here, right? So let me go to one of my Gmail accounts, open this. You can see here, it didn't embed, right? I'll go to, so I'm, I'm actually expecting a mail. Okay, it doesn't entered, right? Okay, so you can see now, right? This is still not embedded well. So another way around this is you can actually embed your image as an you can embed it as an HTML file. What I mean by that is, you know, you can actually actually embed images as an HTML file, right? So if I go to, I'm just open go and say, embed images in HTML, right? So there's a way you can actually embed images in, in HTML. So if I open this. Right, if I scroll down to where I can see embed, I'll just look for okay. I'll use this one here. This one is okay. So what I have now, I have the source, I have the alternative. This is like a text, the alternative text, the style. So style gives you basically the width and the height, right? So if I just copy this, let me just copy this and put it in my notepad. Just put it on my notepad. Right. So I'll just open make this bigger a little bit. I'll paste this here, right? Cool. So I'll go back to my power to meet. What I need to do now, I need to create another flow that will connect, that will connect to the Gmail. So let me go back to the edit. I'll have to create another flow. What I need to do now, I have to convert this email, not as a mail, but now as an HTML code, right? So I have to go back to my power to meet. I'll create a new flow. Let's call, let us call it automated cloud flow. Let me just keep this, right? So after is an HTTP request, I'll search for HTTP 
HTTP request. Okay, HTTP request. Let's see, HTTP request is okay. I'll use this one. This is actually a premium request, right? Cool. So this is HTTP request, right? So I can just change this advanced. Let me change the advanced to um get because I'm actually getting. So I'll change this to get, right? So I'll create another step, which is to get file content using parts. I'll say get file contents. It's more like SharePoint. So get file content using parts, right? Cool. So I'll just get the parts, which is my site is um Andy Jazz. So I have a SharePoint site called Andy Jazz, right? So I'll go to the directory. So the directory should be my shared documents. I'll look for the bed day. So let me just say bed day here, right? This is just a test, right? So this is the bed day. So next one, I have to go and get the response HTTP. So I'll say response. So response, right? So response HTTP. So it should be this one, right? So in the in the body, right? I'll just put the file content in the body itself. And that's all. That's all. So I also need to just rename this as hmm, HTTP. So now, now that this is all done, right? I have the HTTP request. I have the get content. I also have the response, right? So if you save the file, you have a link. So you have an HTTP get request URL link, right? So I'll just copy this link over here. I've copied it, right? I'll go to my notepad. I'll just paste it here. You can see, right? So I pasted the link over here. So the next thing I need to do now, go back to my initial flow, which was the bed day reminder flow. So I'll come here. I'll go to my bed day reminder flow again. Edit, right? So I just need to open this. Okay, so you can see this is the bed day reminder flow, right? So this is just like happy bed day employee's name, wishing you long life and prosperity. I can see this is the embedded image. You remember the embedded image was working well for Outlook and Hotmail, but it wasn't working well for Gmail. So this embedded image is just basically an initial initialized variable here, right? So this is the name over here. And you have to put the source code and everything. So what I need to do now, I'll just clear this. I don't need this here, right? So what I will do now, we'll change this to an HTML code. So I'll view it as a code, right? Let me just delete this so I don't really need this break, this break line, right? So what I'll do now, I'll go back to my notepad, which is this, my notepad here, right? I'll copy this. This, this is just the image, this is just the code for embedding inside an HTML code, right? I'll copy this. I'll come here. I'll paste it over here, right? So you can see the source link over here. I will have to change the source link. So I'll clear the entire source link itself. I'll come here, I'll now copy the source link, which is this one here. I'll copy the source link. I'll come here and I'll paste it over here. So then you can see this alternative text, right? This alt text, I'll just name it as bed day image. I'll rename it as, because it's showing as get, get in jackets. I'll rename this as bed day image, right? So bed the image. So you can just you can style it the way you want to style it, the width and the height itself, any way you prefer styling it. So if if you're done with this, you can just save the flow, right? You can save the flow. And next thing you need to do now is just now you can see I've deleted the whole initial um, initialized variable for me. So next thing you need to do, you need to just run your flow. So I'll go to run, I'll just run manually, right? I can run from previous actually from existing flow. So this is done here, right? So let's just wait. So it's running. It's running, it's running. Okay, so it has sent to the three. So I'll check the first one, right? So if I open this, I can see the first one here. This is to Kido Jazz. If I check the second one, I can see the second one, which is to my other mail. And if I check the third one, I can see the third one, which is also to my third mail, right? So what I need to do now, go to my alt mail. I'll check the first hot mail. Okay, so let me check the first mail. Okay, it is rendering, right? So as you can see, it's entered successfully, right? So I'll check the second mail. Okay, this is the previous one. I need to refresh this. Okay, it has entered, right? So if I check this, you can see it rendered successfully. And let me check the third one. Third one. And let's wait. And you can see it rendered successfully. So this is just basically how you can configure your Power Automate flow to send embedded image for both 
Gmail and Outlook. So this way it helps you save a lot of stress because of not everyone uses Outlook or Hotmail, right? So some people, they prefer using a Gmail. Some people now, they prefer using the mobile phone, right? So because if you're going to use, if you're using the normal um, initialized variable, it's only going to be working perfectly well for just only people using the Outlook, not for people using the Gmail. So I hope you guys learned a lot. This video is worth for you by your busy. Bye and have fun, guys. Mm -hmm.